Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Thursday, February the 2nd. It's the fourth week after the Epiphany, and week four in the Psalm Cycle. And thank you for joining me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh God, Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. Psalm 74. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, O oh God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your people, which you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion where you have dwelt. Lift your feet to the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste to your sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations. They set up their incense as signs of victory. They've struck like those with axes in a grove of trees. Now they break down the carved work with axes and hammers. They've set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name. They've said in their hearts, let us destroy them. And they have burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no signs. There is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your strong hand? Take it out of your bosom, for you are my ruler of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength. You broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the head of Leviathan in pieces and gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood. You dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, the night also. You have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter Remember, O oh God, that the enemy has scorned, that foolish people have blasphemed your name. Do not deliver your, your do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked, and forget not the congregation of your poor. Remember your covenant, for the caves of the earth are habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and the needy rod praise your name. Rise, O God, and plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish revile you all the day long. <clears throat> Forget not the voice of your enemies. The tumult to those that rise against you continually increases. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Listen, I, Paul, am telling you that if you let yourselves be circumcised, Christ will be of no benefit to you. Once again, I testify to every man who lets himself be circumcised that he is obliged to obey the entire law. You who want to be reckoned as righteous by the law have cut yourselves off from Christ. You have fallen away from grace. For through the Spirit, by faith, we eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision counts for anything. The only thing that counts is faith working through love. You were running well. Who prevented you from obeying the truth? Such persuasion does not come from one who calls you. A little yeast leavens the whole batch of dough. I'm confident about you in the Lord that you will not think otherwise. But whoever it is that is confusing you will pay the penalty. 
But my brothers and sisters, why am I still being persecuted if I am still preaching circumcision? In that case, the offense of the cross has been removed. I wish those who unsettle you would castrate themselves. For you were called to freedom, brothers and sisters, only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become enslaved to one another. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. If, however, you bite and devour one another, take care that you are not consumed by one another. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia! Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Most High. Alleluia! Psalm 70, and please recite it with me. Alleluia! Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Most High. Let them be ashamed and thwarted that seek my life. Let them be turned back in confusion that desire my harm. Let them retreat covered in shame who jeer at my lot. Let all that seek you rejoice and be glad in you, and let those who love your salvation say, Let God be magnified. But I am poor and needy. Make haste to help me. O God, you are my help and my deliverer. O my God, do not delay. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Most High. Alleluia. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, beginning at verse 27. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? They answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, You are the Messiah. And Jesus sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly, and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples and said to them, If any wish to come after me, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake, and for the sake of the gospel, will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? Indeed, what can they give in return for their life? Those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come with power. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. O 
Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary, that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.